Hey fellow Bandit Slayers, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid Bandit Slayer. Episode 19, Cannibals? Uh, the thing I want you to do at the start of the stream is to decide what we're going to work on. So here is the lovely list. Uh, we could continue to level up electrical so that we can move a proper stove and a washer and dryer added to the base so that it has all of the modern luxuries. Uh, we could improve the defenses of the base by adding gangplanks, walkways, walls, uh, removing barricades around it, uh, securing it up more, uh, barricading windows and walls and, and, you know, that kind of thing. We could go to local gun stores. I'll, um, so point of reference for that third option there. A lot of the local gun stores are um, secured in such a way that you need a sledgehammer to get into them. Technically not, because you could try to burn the wall down, but the problem with burning the wall down is you might burn the whole building down and then you lose the loot. Um, so they're in secured, uh, security great areas. So a lot of the uh, pawn shops and uh, gun stores will have their guns locked up and you need a sledgehammer to gain access to it. So now we have said sledgehammer, so we could go loot guns and stockpile weapons and ammo. I could focus on leveling up other skills. Um, just in general. You know, working on cooking, working on tailoring, that kind of thing. Uh, or I could uh, start trapping and foraging for food. Because right now we do have a farm, but most of what we're currently eating is like canned goods. And then once the farm is fully built, it's going to yield calories, but not really protein-dense calories. You know, plant cal calories. Um, so trapping and foraging could aid in that. Or we could improve the base's organization. Uh, right now, no, all, most of these storages are kind of pseudo-organized, but not really. Uh, so we could fix that up. And then as far as the aesthetics go, the entire bottom floor of this warehouse is like totally gross and full of debris. So that's a problem too. More viewers to choices. So it looks to me like you guys are leaning towards the electrical sales. Um, totally fine by me. But uh, what I'm going to do is just... Maintain my health, maintain my uh, my weight, and uh, and then check up on the farm above us. So currently my weight is 81 and dropping. And I am trying to stay at about 80. And I just wanted to make sure that all of the plants up in the farm are doing well. So I'm just making my way up there and inspecting them real quick. All right, the carrots are flourishing. That's good. Young potatoes doing just fine. The broccoli also just fine. Now I chose to like plant a little bit of everything. Not all of the food that you can plant has like the same, let's say, work efficiency. Uh, some takes longer to grow. Some keeps longer in storage. Some can be jarred. You know. Yeah, it looks like the farm is fully healthy. That's great. Alright, generator. Fuel 70, condition 91. Not much of an issue there. I think what I'll do is turn on the other generator. And swap them. Because, you know, if you forget to maintain your generators... Uh, it could be very dangerous, so it's best to swap them often, so you don't have to remember too too often. So we're going to want to fix this generator, and I'm going to go get some scrap electronics. It is so funny to have all these, like, mint trucks surrounding the base. I totally don't mind. I feel like, if anything, it's a little cheesy that I got them for free, but it's, it's certainly not my fault. Because, uh, I didn't cheat. I played by the rules. It's just they spawned for me as, like, complete freebies. And, uh, you know, gift horse, look it in the mouth. I was like, alright, cool. Bunch of freebies. I guess I'll take it. Uh, what was I gonna do? I was... Man, I am harebrained today. Uh, the electronic components. Here we are. Scrap electronics. And these scrap electronics are gonna... Ooh, I didn't mean to shut the blinds. These uh, scrap electronics are going to allow us to repair the generator.
Ooh, that's what I like to see. That's what I was hoping to have happen. Is that, um... I would level up to Electrical 2, so that I can start reading the book for Electrical 3 and 4, before having to, like, leave the base and go do something. So that's what I had in mind, because I was just so close. It's also really creepy that the bandit corpses, like, don't decay in the same way that the other corpses do. They just, like, lie there. I mean, yeah, like, they're dead humans. I don't know. It just, it's just something about it super creeps me out. Um, all right, if I recall correctly, I have... No, I thought I had Electrical 2 in my backpack. I don't. Let's fix that. And the other thing I wanted to do is I think that my tracker sheet is out of date. So let me update the priority here. Um, level up electrical. And I'm going to double check my tracker sheet because I am worried that I didn't keep it up to date properly. Carpentry 1 through 4, cooking 1 through 3, electrical 1 through 4, farming all, first aid 1. So on my sheet it says I... Actually, no, it's correct. I thought I had trapping volume 2, but I, I guess I'm wrong. Good. Well. Best to uh, verify. Alright, we're getting, getting kind of late in the day. But uh, the other thing I wanted to do before I go back out to level up electrical is to improve my clothing. I don't wear a lot of layers. I'm not, like, layering up all that much, but improve my clothing as much as I can by sewing leather strips into everything. Um, and this will also improve my um, tailoring in the process. I've already read all of the uh, the tailoring books. Or the tailoring book, I should say. So... I am thinking it might be wise... Oh, and the gloves? Yeah, I already have the gloves. It might be wise for me to consider wearing one more layer on my upper body. So taking a look, I have a denim shirt, baggy jeans, leather jacket, long socks, but... Um, and, and, a leather, and a leather jacket. What I could do... is uh, wear yet another layer. The danger, of course, is that you like overheat more easily. But then you are also potentially protected better as well. So it's like a bit of a trade-off. And interestingly, I don't see another layer. Like, I don't have a diamond pattern sweater or anything. What the hell? Seriously? Normally, I keep diamond pattern sweaters and long sleeve shirts. And Okay, so I'll have to be on the lookout for um, more clothing layers. Because I meant to be collecting them, and I clearly did not. Like, not even a little bit. I don't see them anywhere. That's, uh, that's shameful. Alright, well, I guess that's the case. Uh, fill in my water bottle and taking a little nappy nap. Let's see if I can actually manage to sleep through the night, though. Or if I get, like, bandit harassment. Alright, so there were bandits, but I didn't wake up. Uh, there were two groups of bandits, but I didn't wake up. I think... The Bandit uh, mod updates, like, almost every day. And if I was to speculate, they've probably put an update together, which does not have you wake up on yellow bandits, but this is, of course, just speculation. Because normally I would have woken up. So maybe if the bandits aren't uh, threatening me directly, I don't pop up awake. That would be my guess. Alright, it's pretty foggy out. Uh, which is going to make it a little hard to see if the bandits are, like, lurking. And then, the other thing I'm going to want to do before I attempt to level up electrical is to, uh... Is to read the, the book first. Also probably wouldn't hurt to actually get the, uh... The garage door closed. Yeah, this is not weather suited for uh, base defense. So I see a group of... Oh, no, I see them. You see them? Uh, they're, like, bugging out. And he's, like, uh, trying to attack a group of zombies and just missing. They are fighting zombies, yeah.
Uh, is it the two groups of bandits fighting one another? What is even going on here? Hello? Bandits, are you bugged? Uh, alright. I mean... I guess I'll... kill you? Don't you be running up on me. Maybe they were cosplayers and they were standing around... Wow! What the hell? One of them was obviously a mumble rapper, because look at that clothing! What the hell? His... Nine rings? What are you, Thanos? Like, come on, man. This is ridiculous. Oh, Jesus. The other one has duct tape, a rope, and a meat cleaver. Okay, so one's Thanos and the other is Dexter. Got it. Christ. Glad you guys are dead. That'd be an interesting matchup. Thanos versus Dexter. Oh, and the other one is... Okay, they were cannibals. Copy that. They straight up have, like, a fast food server hat. You know, this steak that they have, I am now, like, uh, yeah, I'm gonna give it back. <laughs> I, I no longer want to eat it. Okay, uh, here's all the steak that is very clearly not steak. Uh, so I did mention potentially wanting clothing, but I did shoot these guys to death, so I, I kind of doubt that they have, like, clothing that's ac actually intact. No. Their clothing shredded. It was fun to draw down on them and kill them, though. Alright, let's clear those markers. So I think what ended up happening was, um... And I mentioned this before, but, uh... Oh, does the stream not have a game detected? Oh, hold on, let me do that. There you go. Game detected. Um, I mentioned this before, but the bandits... There's, like, 15 different factions of bandits... And, um, they don't necessarily get along with one another. So in this case, what I think happened was... Two different, um, scavenging bandit factions spawned and fought one another. But their fighting was, like, broken, so they stood around, like, mumble rap battling or something. I, I don't know what exactly they were doing, and I- all I know is I interrupted them in the most fun way possible by shooting them dead. Alright, I just wanted to check these guys for clothing that I could wear. Polo neck sweaters, I'm not gonna bother, because the heat it generates isn't as good as the protection. What I was really hoping for is a long sleeve shirt. Which I didn't find. So, let's go back to reading the electrical book. Whoops! Mm, that's not how to do that. Up. Alright, I probably want to read on the roof. Uh, actually, what I want to do first was try to catch the end of this weather report. Because I'm sort of curious what kind of weather we're in for. Oh, rain and showers. Okay, so like, uh, good. I caught the very tail tail end, but the important part of the weather report. All right. Uh, I did pick up a whole lot of stuff off of them, so let's put that stuff away. I grabbed a fresh crowbar, and then also all of their um, all their key rings, and got rope and things like that. Those dead people had a lot of good stuff. I think the mod now has a bandit kill count. Oh yeah, there it is. Bandits killed three. Hey! I killed four ban- well, no. 
Maybe one of them didn't count. I don't really understand how it wouldn't have, though, because you guys just watched me shoot four people dead. But the game's like, all right, you killed three of them. But yeah, now the mod includes a um, bandit killed counter, which obviously is inaccurate because that feature got added in uh, just now. But that would be nice going forward, I guess. All right, back to reading. Now, the other thing that I uh, I have to consider is where am I going to try to find a lot of electrical stuff to dismantle that is nearby? I don't really want to have to travel so far for it because, you know, traveling a really far distance to level of electrical just probably is not that efficient. Um, but my knowledge of Riverside is also not that great. Basically, I don't know if there's a lot of high impact electrical stuff to do in Riverside. I'll have to think about that. I could go back to the trailer park and get their TVs. Yeah, maybe I do that. I would like the... Okay, good. The fog is clearing. I was going to say I would really like the fog to clear because I do not want to fight in the fog. Sir Arthur Guy, thank you for the resub. And Megahoof, uh, thank you for the resub too. And sorry that you couldn't hang out. Oh, um, the... I am pretty sure the uh, cabbage is ready to be harvested. Seed-bearing cabbages. Yep, yep, yep. It's harvest time. Farming level one. So I have got a whole bunch of cabbages. 29 of them. And I almost have farming level 2. Like, so close. Farming is super easy to level up quickly. Uh, especially if you read the book. So I am throwing all of my cabbages in the freezer, except for like, let's say, 5 of them? No. Or 3 of them. I'll hold on to three of them so that I can eat cabbage and lose weight. Does using a scythe get more per harvest? No, not that I know of. Uh, the only thing that you get more per harvest is if you fertilize them with uh, fertilizer or compost. I believe that would be the only method. Correct me if it's wrong, chat, but I'm pretty sure that's the case. Now, it will be raining soon, but I'm just going to sow the seeds now, rather than wait for rain. And then let's pack up the cabbage seeds. So I have an extra seed packet now, because we got so many seeds from the, uh, the process. Okay, all of the cabbages are uh, are watered as well. And Byron, thank you for the uh, the gifted subs, man. I appreciate it. Ah, oh, yes, my lovely little garden. I'm not going to check up on the HP of the plants because it's been not very long since the last checkup. But I will need to start reading Farming Volume 2s pretty soon. You tried playing PC with your friend, accidentally had it on pretty much hardcore? Uh, well, Project Zombo by default is hardcore. Like, there is no oopsies, backsies, you die, you dead. But if you were playing on Apocalypse, yeah, that's definitely rough as a new player. I would suggest playing on uh, Survivor. So that it's it's chiefly multi-hit, because multi-hit allows you to clear hordes in a way that uh, the hardest difficulty you cannot do that. All right, I did mean to put the crowbar away. I forgot about that. Oh, wrong shelf. Um, what else? And put the seeds away. Anything else I have on me that I shouldn't? I think we're good. So I pretty much spent all day long either killing bandits or reading, but, uh, or farming, I suppose. 
Uh, I will get to leveling up uh, electrical soon. All right, current weight, 81 and dropping still. Electrical is done. Ooh, coffee is still quite hot. And let's grab farming volume two, because I'm pretty sure, well, actually I might not have a plant to harvest anytime soon. I think before that I was reading uh, foraging. Well, past time with the foraging book, but uh, I'm not going to be purposely passing that much time because I'll be trying to dismantle electrical stuff. All right, drowsy. So, yeah, I'll pass a little bit of time before the end of the night uh, just because I don't want to go to sleep at uh, 11 p.m. because I'd rather it be nighttime uh, or uh, daytime when I wake up. All right, looking good. So let's try the trailer park. And then, um... Okay, good. I was allowed to sleep through the night. I didn't sleep very long, though. I need to start going to sleep at, like, 2 in the morning or something. Because it's 5 in the morning now, and, like, that's... Uh... Not really the right time to be waking up. So grabbing some frozen cabbages for later. Yep. What a weird diet Roxy here has. And then make sure that my screwdriver is not about to break or anything like that. It's good. My 9mm pistol is reloaded and ready to go. You know, didn't I have a red dot sight on something? Hmm. I thought I had a weapon that had a red dot sight. Yes. Oh, no, that's Iron Sight. Um, I had a, like a... Ooh, yelling in the distance. I did have a handgun. No, maybe I don't. Because I know I had a scope. But maybe not a red dot sight. Because, you know, if you if you add sights to your, your guns, um, you use them better. And I would preferably have a very capable weapon if uh, bandits roll up on me while I'm out of the base. Alright, well, whatever the case is, looks like I'm good to go. So let's take our lovely truck over to the trailer park. What are those donuts on the floor? Uh, they are ropes. Because I was uh, moving logs in high volume, and I just left the ropes there. So the last time I was in the trailer park, just so y'all remember, uh, I did set off a trailer park house alarm. And it may have brought zombies. I mean, they probably, a lot of them have probably dispersed by now, but it may have brought uh, a lot of zombies that were in the woods to the trailer park. Also, uh, I am trying to keep an eye out for long sleeve shirts or earbuds, or watches, or diamond patterned sweaters, really anything I could potentially find useful on these guys. I may want to 
unequip my leather jacket just to try to keep my body temperature regulated. Because if you overheat, uh, you attack slower. You'll find a katana? Oh, that would be cool. I don't know if I'm going to find a katana in a trailer park, though. Yeah, the lumberjack shirt replaces the denim one. That sounds like the perfect place to find Katana. Like, that's a perfect place to find the um, Mall Ninja Katana, but not like an actual Katana. No, they really haven't dispersed much at all. There is a... There's like a horde of them. Still. Hey, turtle. Thank you for the bits. And yeah, let's let we'll we'll soon find out if uh, what we can find in the trailer park. All right large group here so i have been marking down the trailer park trailers that i've been clearing wow the game did not want me to open my map it was like oh you're opening your map nah hard freeze so once i clear these guys out i'll start going with the trail oh i aggroed more than i wanted to Oh, one has like a birthday hat. Or a dunce cap, depending on how you look at it. Antidepressants. Hey, Trollolero. Thank you for the resub. And this uh, military vet. Nope. I could do the formal shirt, but I don't really want to. All right, let's get the other half of this group here. Because I don't really want a bunch of zombies lurking around as I'm trying to uh, dismantle stuff. Okay. Nice and cleared. You know what? I want that bandana. Where, where, where did that go? Uh, put on face. There we go. I don't want to smell their stinking bodies, you know? Um, I am holding my E key. What is going on? Oh, fine. I'll use the door first. How's that? What, did I just try to jimmy the door? That's not how that works. Now we look like a bandit? Alright, there's something wrong with my E- Alright, come on. Alright, I am getting tired of this. I don't know what was happening. I was holding my E key to be able to try to force the window open, and it just, like, wasn't working. The game was like, oh, we see what you're trying to do and we don't care. Cool, thanks for being such a problem game. I occasionally have a uh, an actual issue with my D key, as in Delta, uh, where it will... I think the switch is bad, and I probably need to replace 
the switch or and or the keyboard. Because every now and then my D key just like does not respond. And for a game like Project Zoboid, that can be pretty deadly. When you're trying to run away from stuff and all of a sudden your keys don't work. Alright, so open up the skill overlay so you can see the progress to Electrical 3, which is the major milestone that we're working towards. 12, or 13 out of 300. Now it is 20, let's round up and say 25 out of 300. It's a long pro, oh, now we jump through, cool. Does everything you can loot have a purpose? No. There's a lot of things that are purposeless entirely. I'm going to hold on to the spaghetti. First can opener I find, I'm going to eat it. Because we are still losing weight and I'd like to go up, not down. I'm also not going to worry too much about my metal work. Um, actually, hmm... Do I have my torch and... You know what? I will use up the... Yeah, no, I, I take that back. I'm going to continue leveling up metalwork. Because metalwork uh, is also your body work for um, managing your car. Repairing hoods, trunks, other metal body pieces. So let's go back and be a little bit more completionist. Do I have a can opener at home? Oh, I sure do. I just didn't want to run all the way home to open up one can. That doesn't seem worth the time or effort or energy. Right, how much left in this torch? About halfway. So like... One full fuel torch gets me about two trailers worth. Got it. What? I'm just... I just don't even... I can't eat it, like... Fine. I'm leaving. Uh, so, the alarm systems in Project Zomboid do not require power. In fact, in real life, most, you know, alarm systems have battery backups. I don't know how long the battery backups would reasonably last for, especially batteries in 1993. But, um... Yeah, the car alarms and house alarms have nothing to do with the, uh, running power or not. The what was that in the last three trailers I've opened up in the trailer park, two of the last three have been alarmed. That was my what? Because, like, the chance of it being alarmed is rather low. So the fact that I just kept getting alarmed ones is just, like, painful, if you will. Is there a zombie over here? No, I thought I heard zombie noises. Uh, where? So, yeah, I was just a little, uh, a little mm, angry about that. But, you know, it's, it's whatever. Fine. I don't, I don't need to, uh, go to the trailer park. I'll go somewhere else. Clearly it's fate, Sarah, telling me, trailer park, eh-eh, think again. Nice try. I'm gonna wash my clothing. It's raining, might as well. Do a little hobo wash. It's not like I'm gonna stay dry outside anyway. Wash myself. And... Alright, let's start putting stuff away. Oh, um, so there's, uh, so this might be interesting. I'm gonna call a little audible here. Check. No, that's not how to spell check. Check out the bandit base. So there's a bandit base that uh, that just spawned next to me. They like settled in and they uh, took up residence. And I would like to do something about that. I.e. kill them. I'm gonna go kill them. 
So I'm just putting away my food. And then, uh, check out the bandit base. Now, uh, bandit bases tend to be guarded by bandits. Who would have thought? So, um, it might be wise for me to be quite ready for a fight. Um, so let's see here. I am going to put the shotgun on the back. This shotgun is not loaded. I'm going to put uh, two boxes of shells. I'll open up. I'll definitely put on my jacket again. Um, shells bandolier. Let's wear that. Oh, I look ready. Um... Take a little cigarette. Go into raid red mode, cause uh there's gonna be some stuff. Uh wait, how are we doing? Adian dropping? Alright, I spy with my little eye a half a carton of melted ice cream. A little depressing to eat. But I'll live. So this shotgun also seems to have a choke on it. Yep. Good. So the bandit base might be this factory. Seems like the icon is centered over it. And then, uh... Yep, it's definitely this factory. Uh, man, going to the factory with bandits in it is going to be sketchy. But this is my turf. Oops, that's a barricade. Sorry, Hood. So I honked a little bit in order to draw attractions. Uh, look at my projection stats. They're decent. Could be better. I'm going to leave the car running. Oh, there they are. Oh, sneak it up behind me. They are, like, phasing in and out of existence here. Oh, Jesus. Can you learn to use a shotgun? Rack it. Oh, it's the plunger bandit. They are shooting at me now. I have an idea. Oh, I'm getting error codes too. That's that's good. Switching weapons. Does this have a magazine? Alright, so we have an M14. It is a... Oh, it has bullets already. You know what? Alternatively, 
Hmm. Trying to think of the... Yeah, let's start off with this weapon. Oh, did they die to zombies? Alright, all that prep for nothing. <laughs> I guess. Was the shotgun jamming? It was not jamming. It was that um, I wasn't giving enough time to re-rack after an attack. So it was mostly that there were so many bandits that I was pulling the trigger and not doing anything else. Alright, where is my crowbar? Let's get back out there. Uh, how many did I kill? Uh, four of them, according to the game? No, I don't hit my... don't hit my base. Wait, switch to... Jesus, my keys are like all sorts of wrong. Cut it out. So this was one of the bandits that had turned into a zombie post-mortem. Um, I'm gonna count it. Does the game count it? No, the game doesn't count it. A actually, at this point, now that the bandits have a kill counter, I probably don't need to even pick up their keys anymore. Um... I'll take your strawberries. Alright, so these guys were bandits that were, uh, zombie murdered. They had, uh, 1911 akimbo. Two 1911s. And it wasn't enough. And this guy had two M9 pistols, or 9mm pistols, wasn't enough. They were, uh, strapped. Ooh, and fresh pierogies? Oh, yes. Thank you for tuning in to Project Zomboid Bandit Slayer, which originally streamed live on Twitch September 5th. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. If you'd like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming stream. If you would like to join my online gaming community on Discord, Rodamont.com has a link to it, as does the description of this video. Thank you so very much for watching, and a special thank you to my Patreon patrons, Twitch subscribers, and viewers like you that support the channel and made it all the way to the credits. Thank you so very much. I hope to catch a next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, my fellow slayers.